Welcome to our Cumberland campus. I would like to introduce Dr. Wheeler Conover, our provost. Hi there. Hi there, how are you today? Pretty good. You're going to introduce us to some students. Yes, I am. This is uh, Deron Major. Deron is a student in our brand new funeral service program, the only one in the state of Kentucky. And we have Jill Jones, who's a pre-nursing student and an office worker with student services, does bang-up job. <laughs> nice to meet both of you. Nice to meet you. I understand nice you're you. going to take us on a tour of the campus. Absolutely. Oh, yes. All right, well, let's get started. Let's okay. go. <laughs> Right now we're in our biology lab with Professor Pat Scopa. Now tell me what you're doing here. Right now I am uh, moving uh, bacteria to this plate. We're going to grow it here for a week or two and then look at it under a microscope. This is actually E. coli, ah. is what it is. And are you a biology major? Yes, and I'm actually transferring to MSU next year. Ah, which is what do you plan state. to do there? I plan to uh, enter the biology program, get my bachelor's in biology, and maybe enter a med school wow. or dentistry or whatever pre-professional program I choose. Okay, well good luck then. Now we're in the Adult Education Learning Center and this is where students can come to learn online or in class. I'd like to introduce you to Travis Cox. Hello Travis. Hello, how are you? And uh, can you tell us a little bit about what your position is and what your main focus is here in Adult Basic Ed? In Adult Education, um, my position is assistant director and we focus on getting students a high school equivalency diploma, a GED, um, transitioning them into college as, as well as um, preparing them for life skills outside of college um, and, and tutoring students that are in developmental education courses. We teach all the, the developmental ed reading and writing classes. Ah, well you do quite a bit then. Absolutely. So you're going to introduce us to one of your students? Yes, we have Ashley Holly. She's going to be <laughs> taking her GED test at the end of this month. Ooh, wow. Hello, Ashley. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. So what are you studying? Which part of the GED test are you studying for right um, now? I'm studying on my writing test. Ah. Well, how long have you been working on this? For about two months. Great. Well, once you... Um, have your GED, what do you plan to do? Um, go to college. Here at Southeast? Yes, ma'am. And do you have any idea what you'd like to pursue? Um, nursing. Nursing, yes, wow. Okay. Well, it's so nice to meet you. So do you feel like you're getting a good, um, solid base here? Yes, ma'am. The teachers are great. They help out with everybody. Um, they help everybody with because everybody's on different levels. So um, they do really good. Great, so you feel ready to take the GED? Yes, ma'am, I do. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. The Academic Support Center provides a variety of services that develop the learning and academic skills our students need to be successful in college. ASC tutors can proofread papers, lead individual and group study sessions, assist with email and use of the computers, and provide other services requested by instructors. Tutoring is available in most subjects at each SKCTC campus. Now we're checking out the library. This is where we come to study, um, look for research material for homework assignments, and just simply pass time until our next class. Welcome to our nursing simulation lab. This is where our nursing students get hands-on experience developing their nursing skills. I'd like to introduce you to Scott Blanton, our simulation specialist. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about what your students are doing in here? Sure. Um, in the simulation lab, um, we are able to put our students into realistic situations um, that they're going to run into in the hospitals. And so we can do that using high fidelity simulators such as our SimMan here. Um, so we can do um, mega codes with them patient is, is going into cardiac arrest and stuff like that. So they get actual experience, can make mistakes here without putting any lives in danger. Oh, well, um, that's good. Yeah, this is, this is a great place to learn, make your mistakes here, and then they can learn from those mistakes. Um, we also have um, computers that are hooked onto the internet where we can log on to any number of different sites that we can also do simulations through the computers and um, many different things. Southeast Original Campus at Cumberland opened in 1960. Unique among all KCTCS colleges, the Southeast Cumberland Campus is home to the Appalachian Archives, 
which documents the people, events, and arts of southeastern Kentucky in the present, preserves the history and heritage of its past, and informs future generations of the cultural contributions made by those who have made this part of Appalachia their home. In addition, the Appalachian program is an umbrella for Southeast activities relating to culture and sustainable development. Its works include public programming in the arts, culture, and community development, including the Higher Ground Community Plays and Crawdad Youth Arts Series.